Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Those who are new, my name is Tanya and today I'm going to be doing things I'm loving at the moment, makeup in general that I'm loving at the moment. So if you're interested in sticking around um, and you like what you see, feel free to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. If you do subscribe, don't forget to check the bell. It'll give you an update on most of the videos that, well, all of the videos that I upload. Um, I shouldn't be too annoying. I don't upload um, several times a week. It's generally just one or two so there you go, different things. Anyway, let's get on with it. Welcome back. All right, first thing I wanna do is I wanna apologize like I always do about my lighting and my background. There's nothing I can do about it right now. So um, let's try and get through it. So once again, like I said, today's video is things that I'm loving at the moment. Um, some might be old to you, some might be new. Well, some are new because um, one of them in particular is the one of the holiday packages. Oh, uh, sorry, one, yeah. Yeah, one of the holiday packs. So, um, and I'm particularly excited about that one. So, um, you know what, let's, let's just start. Um, for those who don't know, a little while ago I won a box of goodies from Glamradar through the girls at Beauty News and um, in there, there was a palette. It was an I Heart Revolution palette. It was the um, chocolate violet palette. Yeah, the violet palette. And um, I've been loving this. Like, it's absolutely gorgeous. I mean, it's got a big, massive mirror on it, as you can see. And I love all of those colours. Um, I don't know how well you're going to see those colours uh, on camera because of my lighting, but you know there there is at least one, two, three. There's four definite definite sort of purple purples there, and then um, a more magenta style one. We've got browns, we've got shimmers, we've got mattes. It's a great palette. It's it's relatively um, cheap too. It's drugstore prices. I I can't recall exactly how much it is. If I I'll, I'll look it up and I'll put it down below, but um, I love this. It works really well. Um, it blends really well. Uh, there's minimal fallout. And from what I've heard, this is probably the best palette out of all of the chocolate ones. I mean, look, I mean, it comes down to personal, personal preference, obviously, but I like this. I'm glad I got this one and um, I'm loving that. I really do like it. Next, uh, what do we got? Oh something else that I got in that, and that is the Physician's Formula uh, Bronzer. So this is great. I have a problem with it though. Two actually. One of them, I was hoping that it wasn't going to smell really, really strong, but it does. It smells like the tanning lotion um, that, you, that a lot of people put on when they go down the beach. It's really, really strong. It's if you have a sensitivity to smells, and I do, this is really strong, but you do sort of get used to it. The more you use it, the more you get used to it, especially if you're light-handed like I am. This color is in bronzer, and the other problem that I have with it is when I push it open, there's two compartments, but as you can see, yeah, it's got the mirror here, that's where there, there was a little brush thing, but I can't get mine down, so I have to every single time go in with a pair of tweezers and pull my product down and quite frankly that shits me to tears um it drives me insane it makes me not want to use it and um i i like it i think it's i think it's quite good um i have it on today um not that you could really tell sort of that much i kind of i kind of contour with it is that a thing brontour I don't know, I'm not very good at contouring, so I kind of sort of just do the, the you know, the three or the E, whatever you want to call it, on the face, and, um, yeah, it's nice, it's, um, it's good. I've, like I said, I, I thought that I would need the, um, lighter shade, but I, I don't think that that would actually show up, I think, um, sorry, I keep clicking it, I think this is probably going to be perfectly fine for me, um, I did think it was a little bit warm, but like I said, if you can get past the smell, um, this is pretty good, it is a little bit pricey, considering that I think in America this is classed as drugstore, um, in Australian it's $30, so, I don't know, I don't know. I like 25 more than 30. Isn't that stupid? It's just $5 difference, but I don't know. Yeah, maybe 20, but whatever. I like it. I love it, actually. So, um, hmm. I'm going to keep going with that. Let's move on to uh, blush. I received this one in a Bella box. It is the Manica Dar Step 3. Um, it's kind of like a, a blush bronzer highlight, but 
I mean, there's no way that I'm going to be able to use those separately. So I just get my whole brush in there and um, let's see if I can show you sort of like what it looks like somewhere. It's quite subtle. I think it's beautiful. I absolutely love it. And like I said, this is a little sample one that we got from um, Ballabox. It's called Blossom. I will rebuy this. Blossom Blush and Highlighter. Um, when I run out of it, if I run out of it, I probably will repurchase this. However, I have a lot of blushes and I don't think I'll get through them. Um, I have this Rimmel one and I really love this. And unfortunately, Chemist Warehouse have this really bad habit of sticking this sticker that you just can't seem to peel off the back of it. And um, I don't know which colour this is. Um, I have tried to pull that sticker off and it's just, it's no go. Um, maybe I will try, I'll try a little bit harder and if I can figure it out um, after the video, I'll link that below as, as well. But this is beautiful. I'll show you a little bit closer up. I'll give you another swatch. I'll swatch that and I'll put it, it's kind of, I don't know, I don't know, hard to, hard to explain. Um, it's more subtle, but let me see myself. Yeah. It's very similar to the Manakada, but more subtle, so you can be a little heavier handed. Um, I do love Rimmel blushes. Um, I have another one, I believe. I think, yeah, I do. A, um, what is it? A Rimmel Trio. It's got Kate on it for some reason. I don't know. Um, this is alright. I'm not going to go on about this because it's not one that I absolutely love. Um, but I do love this one. I just... I just don't know what it's called, so, and I don't even know if it's available anymore. Another blush that I really, really like, but I have to be very light-handed with, is an Essence blush. It's only a few dollars, and it's a matte touch blush. This is in the shade Bury Me Up. Uh, absolutely gorgeous. Sometimes I don't want to shimmer, sometimes I just want to look matte. Um, it's quite bright, this one. Let me see if I'll put it right there. But used right, it is gorgeous on the skin. Like I said, that's a dark swatch. Um, you want to be very, very light with it unless you like being like, boom. Um, I think you could probably get away with using that as even an eyeshadow. I don't know. Um, I'd look into that before you use it as an eyeshadow, but it is gorgeous. I do love it. I don't use it that often. I use that one sort of more in winter um, and autumn. Um, hmm. All right, that's all I've got with blushes. All right, but I do have some uh, mascaras that I am really, really liking, and, um, let me see, I do have another one which is in my empties, which I'm hoping that video is already up, and that is the Rimmel Extra Long Lash, uh, Length and Define Mascara, I love this as an everyday mascara, it is my everyday mascara, I think it's fantastic, it has a, um, rubber sort of bristle applicator it that is my kind of favorite it um, grabs onto the lashes it lengthens it gives a little bit of um volume um it's nothing too insane crazy but i just i love it um i never ever ever get transfer on my upper or lower lid it never leaks uh, so it never runs down my face whether it's raining or not it's not waterproof but it doesn't run um it's easy to get off of a night time it's cheap it's everything that I want personally in a mascara, but when I want to look a little bit more glam, I put this one away, even though I love it, um, especially because for those lower lashes, it grabs onto it. When I want a little bit more, I will go with the Too Faced Better Than Sex. Completely different formula. Um, this is quite wet. Um, it's very difficult for me to use, actually. It's the Hourglass Long Bristle sort of Duva Malaki. Um, <laughs> I have to be very, very careful when I put this on. Although I love this, I love what it does to my lashes, um, I've sort of got to look down. It will transfer to my upper lid. It will transfer to my lower lid. I've got to be so careful. I do use two layers. It is beautiful. Um, it costs a little bit more than I like to spend. Um, I buy mine from Mecca. Um, which is the only place that I can personally get it at the moment. Um, but what can I say? I love it. And as a high-end, I think, um, mascara, I think it's absolutely fantastic and definitely worth the money. And um, I'm happy I have it. So, and that's what I use when I'm glammed up. Well, as glammed up as I get. 
Another mascara which I personally think is in between the Better Than Sex and the Rimmel and I've just discovered it um, through... I believe it's Ballabox again, is the Purr, Purr? Yeah, I think it's Purr, Purr Fully Charged. I love this, um, I really, really do, and, um, sorry, my battery seems to be telling me that it's going flat, and I'm worried about that. Mm. Anyway, I really, really love this, and, um, I can't remember what it looks like, but it does just as good a job, um, as the Rimmel one. If not a little bit better, it's that sort of material bristle kind of thing. It's fantastic and I will definitely buy it if I can see it on special. It's in my top three, so I want to play with it a bit more, but I'm absolutely loving it. And we're back. My battery ran flat halfway through me talking, so um, if I look like I'm in a different spot, you know why. I apologise if you hear talking in the background, my partner's playing Fortnite again, so, and we have very thin walls, so um, hopefully I'm going to be just that little bit louder. Now, what were we talking about? I think we were just finishing up talking about, I think, the Per Mascara? Yeah, Per Fully Charged Mascara. Um, I was rushing through that because of the battery, but this is a great, great, great um, mascara. I want to play with it more. I do put it somewhere between the Better Than Sex and the Rimmel. The Rimmel is a drier um, formula. It's still wet, but it's a little bit drier, and it coats kind of like a not a clay. I don't want to say it's like claggy. It's not claggy, but it definitely um, coats you can feel it on your lashes when you, you know, um, whereas the better than sex one is a lot wetter and you've got to be a lot more careful. This is somewhere in between those two. Fantastic. Love it. Um, do want to buy a full size one when I use all of this one. And I think what we're up to now is um, foundation. I know I'm doing everything backwards, but that's okay. Um, You'll be right. It's an element of surprise, you know. I'm not going from, you know, bottom to base to, to, I don't know, lashes or anything like that. I want to talk about a foundation and the foundation that I'm actually currently wearing at the moment. I don't know if the camera's going to give it any justice because my lighting is all up to wazoo. So, but this is the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Foundation. My shade is Linen. Um, I love this. I, um, I'm sort of like... Yeah. I'm also a cool toned, but I've got a little bit of neutral there, and generally a lot of the mo uh, not moisturizers, generally a lot of the foundations that I wear are either too warm or too cool for me, whereas this one was just sort of like in the middle, it was a neutral color and probably the best shade match for me with that range. I love this. Um, it goes on really, really nicely, flawlessly if anything, um, more so for me with a sponge. Um, it's medium coverage, it is buildable. Um, I can't quite build it up to full coverage, but it is pretty good. Um, I like it. Uh, it's, um, I do set it, um, just because I use a hydrating moisturizer. I use a lot of, um, skincare underneath to try and keep my skin really, really dewy. It's kind of a bit like of a satin sort of texture. Um, it's pretty well priced as well. I brought mine from Priceline. Um, I think it was originally $30, but I got it on special, um, I can't recall how much I spent on it, but I think it was like 19 or something, but I absolutely love that. That's what I'm using at the moment. Um, it's fantastic. Um, as for a, uh, what do you call it? Concealer. Hmm. I love the Maybelline um, Instant Age Rewind uh, concealer i have this is my backup i actually have another one here they look different the the two that i have slightly um the instant age dark circle eraser okay they're the same thing but this one's in a different language same color i use um fair clair i use this under the eyes um just a little bit there this is fantastic this is creamy um i do have to set it underneath the eyes but once i set it it is it's it's beautiful I love this. I don't use any other concealer other than the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. I think it's phenomenal. It's my go-to. So, and as you can see, I got my backup. So I'm really happy about that. I'm going to throw in a skincare one um, before I do the rest of the makeup. I have a little sample of L'Octane Immolette Reset Serum. It's this. I can't explain it. These little things are like little jelly beads or something like that and um this is amazing 
this smells amazing this feels great um it does leave your skin feeling a little tiny bit tacky but i use this of a night time i put this on um be, like I don't actually need a moisturizer on over the top of it, but sometimes I do. Like I'll put this on and then I'll let it sit. I'll let it soak in for like 10 minutes plus. I'm reveling in the smell. I can't tell you what it smells like because I've never smelled anything that smells like it, but it is amazing. Probably the main reason why I'm going to repurchase this. It isn't cheap though. Um, I'll leave a link down there to the Loctane um, website. I hope I'm saying their name right. Um, this is great. My skin feels amazing the next day, whether I use a moisturiser over the top of it or not, it doesn't matter. Um, and I think it's cute. I also love the bottle. Um, I want more, and that's about all I can say about that. This is good stuff. So, um, my partner's a little bit excited in the background. He's obviously either won or just gotten killed. So, let's move on to um, highlighters. I have the Becca Mini Macaroon set. Um, I'm really excited about that. I did buy two sets this year. It was the first time actually I've ever brought a holiday set in my entire life, but I saw these and I really, really wanted them. And to be honest with you, I sort of just put it in the back of my mind because I didn't think it was something I was going to get, but it was my birthday in October and the holiday packages start coming out in October and a couple of people gave me money and I got... I got it. I got that and I got another pack of something else, which is for another video, but I'm going to show you these now. They, there is four of them, so you get four of these bad boys, and um, the colours come in vanilla quartz. I will open them up and I'll show you actually individually. Vanilla quartz, they're so cute too, which is this one here, and I'll just do a bit of a swatch. Um, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see these too well, but... They're beautiful. They really, really are. They're not chunky. They're... I'm actually wearing vanilla quartz at the moment, um, but I'm, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it, but it's kind of like this wet look. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, then we have Prismatic Amethyst, which is kind of like a pinky purple, and I really want to use this one um, as an eyeshadow, and I mean, if I get a little bit, you know, maybe I'll put it on there, but I don't know. Um... There's definitely not going to do it justice. It is pinky, but there's no way that I can... I'm hoping that the swatch will um, help you see the difference, but I don't think it's going to. Maybe if I can... I've got a box light here. I don't know if it's going to make this worse, so let's just try anyway. Um, let's see if that helps. I don't think it did. No, I could pretty much just disappeared, didn't it? Oh, well. We tried, we tried. Anyway, it is a pinky um, colour. You can sort of see it a little bit when I turn it, but I got a lot of shadow there. It's night time, um, the baby's asleep, I couldn't do an afternoon one. But it is gorgeous and I do, um, it is pink. It is pink, it shifts, um, it shifts a little bit silvery, a little bit purpley. It's, it's definitely gorgeous. Every single one of these highlighters is gorgeous, and I can wear every single one of them just in a different way. The next one is Rose Quartz. This is my favourite. I love this one. This one definitely is a pink one. I mean, you can see it just right there. I love this. I love this as like a... Um, um, <laughs> I can't think of what I'm thinking of. Blush topper. Um, kind of like... I almost... I almost don't need to put a blush on when I do this, but I, I would put this one right just on top of there, just a little bit up there. Let's do a little swatch, put it over there. Hopefully, hopefully you can see it. I don't know whether you can. Oh, I wish you can. It's absolutely gorgeous. I did take a photo of it. Photo doesn't do it justice. Maybe I'll put a photo right here while I sit here and talk about it. It's just, it is really, really pretty. Um... I'm so happy that I've got these, like, they came in the mail and I just got this shiver. I just, when I open them, I'm like, these are beautiful. I've never had any sort of high-end um, makeup. Um, I recently got that Better Than Sex mascara and I was excited about that. And, and then to get these Becca ones, like, I can't really afford to pay the amount for a full price um Becca highlighter just to not like it but I think I could buy all of them and I think that I would just love them they are absolutely gorgeous the last one that I have is in opal and um yeah this is the one that I want to use as an eyeshadow I think it would be gorgeous as an eyeshadow um I can't it's kind of 
I don't know, it's kind of, I don't want to say gold because it's not, kind of, it's kind of bronze, um, but it's, it's, that's not even going to do it justice. Oh, it's got a little bit of a gold, it's got a little bit, hang on, focus, it's got a little bit of a gold shift. Let's stick it over here, let's stick it next to this one. It, oh, that is beautiful. Tell me, tell me that's not beautiful. Um, I don't know if I could get away with wearing that one on my cheeks. Um, maybe if I got a bit of a tan. I don't really tan. Um, I don't know. Maybe if I got a little bit sun-kissed or something like that. I don't really know, but I, it's, it's, I mean, it's still definitely beautiful, and I am happy to have this, and I am definitely going to use this on my eyes. I think it'll be great as an eyeshadow topper. I think it'll just be great as a sort of natural, um, a natural eye look. I don't know, but I'm not giving these away. I am not. These are mine. They're staying mine. I'm very, very happy. Um, that was one of the holiday packages. It was relatively cheap. I, I think it was probably one of the better deals that you could have got with the holiday packages. Where was that through? Was that through Sephora? Um, I think that one was through Sephora. Just absolutely beautiful. All right, but I made a Glam Raider order. And in that Glam Raider order, I got another highlighter and that was the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in, um, Blossom Glow. I couldn't see it for a minute. And um, I haven't played around with this one too much, but I do still love it just as much as the Becca ones. Um, I think it's absolutely gorgeous, and we'll just give it a little bit of a swatch. It's, um, it, I would say that it definitely is Mega Glow. I think that I could get away with using the Becca ones as a more subtle way, but I think this one definitely um, would definitely out sort of shine it. It is quite bright, and... Um, it, it definitely pops. It's just as beautiful. Um, so if you can't afford Becca, uh, even though they are gorgeous and definitely worth the money, I paid $10 for this Australian and um, I think this is fantastic and it's pretty big. I mean, I don't think I'm ever going to get through that. But I'm happy that I have it and that's why it's in my favourites. I think it's just as good. Um, I think that the, well, the Becca one I think is a little bit more finely milled, to be honest with you just ever so slightly but this one definitely packs a punch and it's 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 up there i mean i have an elf highlighter that is absolutely crap it's a baked one and i got a rub and i got i just hate it i can't get anything off it um i even have um an essence one and it's nice like it's hard to get a good um, highlighter in the town that I'm in without having to order online. And um, if I was going to go drugstore, this is drugstore, chemist, whatever, this is the one that I would definitely get. It is in my favourites for that reason. Um, it is the best one that I've found in my town. Um, yeah, and that is the Essence Glow. And um, it's not as aggressive, so if you like a light sort of, you still want a little bit of pop, but nowhere near as what you've just seen on my arm there. Um, it looks like this. And you can be a little, I mean, it looks, it looks in your face right there. Um, maybe I swashed that a little bit too hard. I'm about to make a liar out of myself here. But yeah, see, it does look just as bright. But the thing is, is um, when you use a brush, it's not that aggressive. Um, it is definitely beautiful though. So if this is like $4, if you can't afford to get online, because some of the um, places that I order from, or sorry, that I have ordered from, you have to spend like $75 unless you've been lucky like me and you jump there on it on a day where postage has been removed. Um, or you happen to be buying a few things for a couple of other people and you don't have to pay postage. If you can't get online to get some of these other, oops, to get some of these other brands, just nick into Target because that's where I got the um, Essence stuff and pick up one of these. I think it was $4. Works just as well. I'll probably never get through all of this as well, even if I was to use it every single day. I mean, obviously, I would eventually get through it, but you don't need that much. And this would probably take me like eight years. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, it says on the back that, you know, it's supposed to be 12 months. But, you know, I won't throw this out after 12 months. Mm, nah. Um, anyway, so that's it for all of that sort of stuff. The last thing I got was a palette, and that was from Glam Raider, and I've been wanting this 
for ages. I've been watching so many videos on it and I'm really excited to have it. I've already done swatches with it. I'm not going to show you swatches of every single one of them. I'll do a special video for anyone who's interested. Um, maybe next week or something like that. And that is the Zodiac palette. Now, um, that's the BH Cosmetic Zodiac, pa Zodiac palette. They've just recently done a sneak peek of a sister palette to this. I'm not exactly too excited about that one. I think that there's just some colours there that are just like, eh, maybe that palette's probably just a little bit warmer than this one. I think this one for me, I personally believe is more on the cool side, whereas the sister palette looks a little bit warmer. Um, so I will show you what's inside. It's got a really large mirror, as you can see there. Really good quality one too. And there she is there. And there's absolutely no angle that I'm going to be able to put this on that's going to do justice to this palette. It is absolutely gorgeous. Some of the... Th I mean, I don't... How many has it got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 24 shades, whoops, 24 shades and one highlighter. So there's 12 mattes and there's um, 12 like glittery sort of, you know, but not like fallout glittery. I'll show you a couple of colors. Uh, let me see. I will show you uh, Libra in the shiny one. I'll show you Aries. And I don't know, what else should I show you? Um, let's go Aquarius. All right, can you see that? Let me see, let me see. We've got to find a nice empty bit. Probably do it here. All right, so Libra and Aquarius and, uh-oh. What was the other one that I just said? Aquarius, I think. There's no way that I'm going to be able to give this any justice, but they are, they're beautiful. They're, they're beautiful. Even the mattes, um, I'm just as excited as the mattes. They've got some really interesting colors there. I particularly brought this for the purples. Let me see if I can do a swatch of some of the purples. I got two sort of different ones there. Where can I put them? Um, put one here one there so two different types of purples there and I just I love this palette um, like I said I'll do another video I will do swatches of it maybe I'll even do a um, an eye swatch video I'm not sure but I am gonna do it because I will be playing around with this palette a lot more and I think it's absolutely beautiful and I paid what did I pay for this I paid 35 Australian dollars for this and I think it's worth it I mean I haven't got anything as good as this. Even the chocolate palette that I just mentioned, I love. But I love this Zodiac, Zodiac palette more. Um, I think BH did a very, very good job with this. And I, I'm a very happy camper. And it was definitely worth the money. And I'm going to have a lot of fun with it. So that's pretty much... Oh, wait. No, I got one more thing. I picked this up the other day. And I'm... I probably should trial it more before I talk about it, but this is the L'Oreal Paris Brow Artist Plumper. I love this. I've used it a couple of times and I'm already in love with it. Um, my eyebrows from here to there look invisible. So I can you, you can usually see about that much before they look invisible. It looks like somebody shaved them off and that pisses me off. Um, excuse my French. Uh, I just... <clears throat> I've got this little tiny bubble scar right there and so when I draw over it, it looks stupid. I just, it's hard for me to do my brows. I hate it. I hate doing my brows. I just want them to look natural all the time. And, um, hmm. So I use an e.l.f. Um, have I got it here? I use an e.l.f. Um, stick, this one here, a brow pencil. And um, I just brush them up and then I just do a quick line across, sort of, you know, trying to make it look somewhat natural. But because my hairs are sparse, especially down here, um, it's really hard to sort of make it look natural. So when I go over with this, it's got this little, this little perfect tiny head. It's not one of those big chunky ones like some of the other ones that I've actually had. And I can really get in there. Excuse me, hang on. <coughs> been talking too long. I can really get in there and coat the lashes. <coughs> hmm, 
excuse me. Yeah, I can really get in there and I can really coat the lashes and I can make them feel more full and it's quick and I love it and I don't think this was cheap either um, but I got this one on special as well and um, if I can remember I'll put the price down below but yeah I love this um, this color this shade sorry <clears throat> I'm gonna have to wrap this up soon because I'm having trouble talking this is in the shade medium dark um, my store normally has tons of light ones left over I don't know how many colors this comes in but if you have trouble with your brows and you want sort of like a you know, it doesn't make my it doesn't make them feel crunchy. It definitely keeps them in place, but yeah, I love it. So, um, and it's a good size too. Look at that. I mean, that's that's pretty big for um, eyebrows. So, anyway, don't want to make this video too long. So that was my favourites. Um, if you like what you saw, go ahead, give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. Don't forget to check the bell. That will make sure that you get alerted with every video that I upload. I try and upload one video a week at least, um, but you know times I can't always so I'm not definite not always on time and sometimes I'll put two videos up in a week just to make up for that so that's probably what I'm going to do this week and um, I'm hoping to get a um, empties video up it should already be up if it is already up I will link that up here for you it's my first empties one and um, yeah if you made it to the end thank you so much um, I appreciate it I hope you like what you saw I hope I didn't ramble too much and um, yeah come back all right thanks guys bye